Now we will also look into uh, the specifiers of PTSD now. Uh, unme sabse pehla specifier hai ke either it is with dissociative symptoms. Abhi humne 4-5 set cluster of symptoms dekhi. Uh, lekin iske baas, iske saath ye bhi ho sakta hai ke uske andar dissociative symptoms ho. Now what are those? This is persistent or recurrent symptoms of either of the following. That is depersonalization or derealization. Uh, now, what is depersonalization? Depersonalization is actually persistent or recurrent experience of feeling detached from and um, as if one were an outside observer uh, of one's mental processes. Now, depersonalization is actually um, feeling in a very floating state uh, and like dreamlike state uh, and seeing yourself uh, as an outsider. This is very kind of um, a strange situation or a state what we are talking about and but it can happen in PTSD. Uh, then derealization, derealization is persistent or recurrent experience of unreality of surroundings. Uh, derealization ka matlab hai ke usko erd gird ki jo surrounding hai wo unreal lag rahi hai. The word um, around the individual is experienced as dreamlike. So depersonalization mein you see yourself from outside um, and as if you are in a dream state and you are watching yourself from distance. Um, movies mein aksar wo, main iski example badi, badi strange example hai lekin jis tarah aap movies mein dekhte hai ke the person is dead and the spirit soul jo hai wo saath khadi hai usse dekhte hai. So uh, description most probably isi tarah ka hai ke you feel very uh, depersonalized ke you are now yourself, you are watching yourself from outside. So, uh, strange experience and derealization mean that you uh, are experience the world around you and everybody around you as uh, unreal. So, they are like in a dream state. They, 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 you see them as it's happening in dream, they are not real. And after that, the second uh, uh, specify that dissociative symptoms must not be attributable to the physiological effect of a substance. Dekhe, is tarah ki state ab baad dafa jab uh, an individual is under intoxicating state, nashe ki halat mein hota hai, to wo bhi is tarah ki derealization or personalization ki feeling, ya dissociative state uh, ke andar wo usko feeling aati hai. So it is important ke aap ye rule out karein ke ye dissociative symptoms jo hai, wo uh, kisi physiological effect of a drug to nahi hai, substance to nahi hai. For example, blackout behavior during alcohol intoxication or dissociative symptoms are not due to an other medical condition. Um, for example, complex partial seizures, uh, jo jhatke lagte hai, ya daure padte hai, uh, due to some neurological or medical condition, uh, iski wajah se to nahi, usko dissociative experiences ho rahe. Then you also have to um, specify ke with delayed expression, um, jase abhi humne baat ki ke ek mahine ke baad uh, post traumatic stress ko diagnose karna hai aapne, uh, lekin ek mahine ke baad zaruri nahi ki ek mahine ke foran baad aa jaye ye bhi ho sakta hai ki 6 months ke baad aaye to agar wo 6 months ke baad aa rahi hai to then you have to spell it out or you have to specify ki ye delayed expression hai so if the full diagnostic criteria are not met until at least 6 months after the event although the onset and expression of some symptoms may be immediate ke wo ho sakta hai ki acute stress ki jo uh, reaction ke taur pe jo aati hai wo usme ho lekin full blown jo symptoms ka criteria hai wo meet nahi karta unless after 6 months to isko aap fir spell out karenge ke with delayed expression